Hello and welcome to the Met Office 10 Day Trend. If you are on your summer holidays, if you are fed up with the rain and you're hoping for an immediate improvement in the weather, well, I've got bad news for you. Over the next five days, we keep low pressure, we keep more of the same. Rain at times, breezy and cool. So is that the rest of summer written off? Well, actually, no, because the five days after that promise high pressure turning drier and sunnier. Summer returning next week in many places. And actually, Thursday itself isn't looking too unpleasant. A lot of cloud first thing, a keen breeze, a cool feel. Showers at first, but the showers do ease by the end of the afternoon, increasingly sunny skies, temperatures of 23 Celsius in the south, 17, 18 further north. So Thursday, a respite, but low pressure returns. Heading into Friday, you can see it's coming quite quickly along across northwestern Britain. For the start of Friday, this low pressure rattling in and bringing weather fronts with it. Persistent rain to begin the day across Scotland, Northern Ireland, Northern England, Wales and the southwest. And across England and Wales, well, it's a wet day. That rain eventually reaching East Anglia in the southeast by the afternoon. A lot of cloud cover as well. Some brightness emerging in the northwest where the rain does ease, but heavy showers follow. And you can see the brighter colours there, especially for parts of Wales into the Midlands and southwest. Some lively downpours. A strengthening wind as well, coastal gales for some exposed coasts in the northwest and temperatures, well, a little below average. So feeling cool on Friday, especially when we've got that prolonged rainfall, low pressure well and truly in charge. And actually this low, when it turns up on Friday, sticks around through the weekend. You can see Saturday into Sunday, that low pressure anchored to the north of Scotland, not moving very far, very fast. It's here to stay for a few days and the tightness of the isobars indicates it's certainly going to be a blustery weekend. Not quite as windy and as wet as last weekend, but nevertheless not ideal for any outdoor events or camping or whatever through uh, the middle part of August. Jetstream, of course, to blame. If we run that sequence through again, you can see the low pressure anchor to the northwest and the jet stream through the weekend continually running to the south of the UK. The colours here indicate the core strength of the jet stream. And when we are sitting to the north of the jet stream, as per this weekend, it's often cool and it's often unsettled with that low pressure bringing frequent heavy downpours. Running it through again with weather fronts, you can see these weather fronts mark areas of persistent rain, only slowly clearing south, southern and southeastern Britain as we begin the weekend, lingering close by along the channel through the weekend. And around the low pressure itself, we've also got these occluded fronts. And so that means that where we don't have the frequent lively showers, we'll perhaps have long spells of rain, especially across northwest Britain. So, yeah, there will be some sunny spells this weekend. It's not a complete washout, especially across southeastern areas once the early rain clears. But these showers will affect virtually everyone. They'll rattle through on this strengthening breeze. Coastal gales possible as well. Uh, certainly a blustery and unsettled changeable weekend. Feeling cool with that as well. This is the weather chart for Saturday. Very little difference for Sunday. You can see temperatures, high teens, low 20s at best. That strong wind remaining throughout, risk of gales in places, and frequent heavy showers, thunder and lightning, all of that sort of thing, especially to the northwest of the UK. A little drier and brighter to the southeast, but even here we'll have a few downpours to contend with. So all in all, the weekend is looking changeable. There will be some sunshine. It's not going to be raining all the time everywhere, but there will be those frequent heavy showers moving through quickly, one after the other, and it's going to be windy and on the cool side. Similar on Monday as well. 13 degrees there across some northern areas with this northerly breeze. There will be a bit more sunshine developing further south and increasingly so through Tuesday, Wednesday and into Thursday, you can see this area of high pressure to the southwest of the UK starts to exert more of an influence. We've lost that queue of low pressure systems that we've had through the last couple of weeks. And although that high pressure is building in, well, the jet stream is still to the south of the UK and we're still in relatively cool air. So high pressure, yes, but not an immediate return to summer heat. 
because that high pressure moves in. It's going to be cool at first through next week. Temperatures only slowly rising as that high pressure starts to dominate. And it does look likely that it will dominate through next week and possibly into the August bank holiday weekend. However, always the chance that to the northwest of the UK will have low pressure coming through to give some showery rain at times. So there's always that chance. But on the whole, certainly an improving picture through next week. High pressure builds in from the southwest, turning things drier and sunnier fairly widely across the UK and slowly warming up. No heat wave just yet, but a return to more summer-like weather following the autumnal conditions of this week. And of course, you can follow the detail day to day by following us on social media. Bye bye.